Okay, so this is just a, an overview of my vanity. Those drawers right there are the Alexa, or the Alex 9 drawers. I'll put all the correct names down below. This is the mound drawer. These are all from Ikea. And then over here, I just have an extra table that I bought at Target um, for filming videos. But I got my mirror from TJ Maxx a while back. I don't really like it with the vanity. But it's what I had, so it's what I'm working with. Starting with these clear drawers. All the clear drawers are from Muji.com. I will put the link down below, but I really like these drawers. They're just really nice. So in this first drawer, you mostly have just eye products. So I just have like mascaras, liners, this little aqua seal for Makeup Forever. Just a bunch of different eyeliners and mascaras that I like to switch out. And then in this one, it's basically my pigments. Here are just some MAC pigments. Color tattoos, holodeum powder, and some extra Sigma shadows. In this next drawer, I just like to keep other pigments, some of these L'Oreal Infallible eyeliners or eyeshadows. I have two Kat Von D palettes, a Sigma eyeshadow, MAC, Rocker Republic, and two other palettes. This one's from Victoria's Secret and this one's from Lorac. Down here, I just have some more eyeshadows, um, some Maybelline quads, Wet n Wild quads, another Sigma single eyeshadow, a Revlon match shadow, and the Urban Decay vegan palette, and some Tarte Smolder eyes. And this was like my very first Chanel eyeshadow I've ever purchased, and it's pretty amazing. Down here, I really honestly, I had extra face stuff down here. But I always, always, always forgot about them and I never used them. So I just decided to put extra brushes in here that I couldn't fit in my little containers. So I just have some Sigma precision brushes, um, just extra foundation brushes and contour brushes if I want to use a different one. Moving on to over here, I of course have my Sigma brush holder that came with my Mr. Bunny set that I bought like forever ago. And I have my face brushes over here. And then, of course, my eye brushes are over there. And then I have my two e.l.f. Kabuki brushes. This one's really old, so I recently bought a new one just to have a nice little backup. And then here, this is like my everyday kind of makeup. The makeup I always tend to go to the most. And then up top, this is just a lipstick holder. You can get this from Amazon. And it holds quite a few lipsticks. So and this is the two drawer from Muji. It's a little bit bigger than the five drawer. It just has a lot more space. This one, I just have some bronzers, my Naked Basics, and Brow Bar to go. Everyday use things, my CoverGirl corrector, concealer, everything that I pretty much use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then in here, same thing. I have a lash card, some Sigma eyeshadows, blush and bronzer, BB cream, primer, and my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. Moving on over here, I have my little mirror. And then this is basically my face drawer. And then I have my little beauty blender just chilling over there. So this first drawer is just concealers, MAC, uh, let's see, Makeup Forever, Physician's Formula, Maybelline, The Balm. And here it's basically randoms. I have like a bronzer from The Balm. I have a blush palette from NARS, or a Lorac powder, Repulcrum Public powder, Laura Geller, and transparent powder from Laura Geller. Down here is some blushes. Some of my MAC ones, Milani, and a Laura Geller blush. I love these Milani baked blushes. I think they're really, really pretty and very similar to MAC. And then in here, I just have some more MAC products, some extra Makeup Forever foundations, these Maybelline blushes, some lip liners, and lip glosses in the back. So with the Malm dressers, you can open them up, or the drawers, and that's about how far they come. It's all right. I mean, I like it, but sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. So I just have some palettes. I have my MAC palette from a holiday collection, tweezers, my MAC eyeshadow palette, MAC blush palette, and my Wet n Wild Z palette that I deposited a bunch of Wet n Wild shadows in. I also have my Naked palette from Urban Decay my NARS blush palette I got a while back, the Lorac Pro palette, and my Resort palette from Sigma. That's awesome. I just have like a Mac Merlite Skin Finish in Stereo Rose, some bronzers, extra powders. I have more Makeup Forever foundations because I love this foundation and I have a lot of colors in it since I self tan. I have a NARS powder, some more lash cards, a Revlon powder, 
more bronzers, the Chanel NYC, a powder from Wet n Wild. I have a couple of these NARS blushes and these Revlon Nearly Naked foundations. And I should have more powders. I mean, this drawer is kind of miscellaneous. It has a bunch of powders and blushes. I'm a big fan of face products. I just have some brow products, extra eyeshadows from Sigma. Blush that I got in an Ipsy bag. It's a pretty good size and a black track. I have two backups of the Coverall Corrector because somebody told me they were being discontinued soon, so I went and I bought a couple more. I have some of these e.l.f. fake blushes, a Physicians Formula blush, Tarte blushes, NYX gel liners. I have a MAC lip erase, which like is a skin tone color and totally erases the color of your lips. So back here I just have extra lashes and extra MAC Crim and nude lipstick, lip glosses, primers, lash glue, tweezers, or not tweezers, eyelash curlers, a, what is this, eyeliner brush from Sigma, and of course I keep two hair clips. It's just really easy to reach for them right here, so I just keep two. Okay, so that is it for the vanity part. That's basically all I keep in there. I try not to pack this up too much. Moving on to my Alex 9 drawer. I bought this because I figured if I were to get more makeup, this will store everything. And it also stores a bunch of my hair products. And I just figured, you know, buying this, it would save me a lot of time and money on extra storage. So I went ahead and spent the money and just went ahead and bought the biggest things. What I keep on top of this is just perfumes. I have Jimmy Choo, Victoria's Secret Angel, Pink Chiffon, Express, Wonderstruck. I have this Physicians Formula Bond bronze booster. I keep some sprays up here, brush cleaner, my dry shampoo, nail polish remover, hairspray, lotions from Bath and Body Works. And then in the very back I have these little brush holders that I got from Sonia Kashuk and they just have like little brushes on them and these are what I store my extra makeup brushes in. And I just keep them in the back. First drawer I just have a Sephora bag back here with extra Z palette magnets. And like I said, I'm a huge face junkie, so I have just extra foundations and BB creams. I have a Ben Nye Banana Powder, Eve Pearl, and I Shine. Some other setting sprays. An extra Scandinavia one. Just a bunch of extra foundations. Whenever I buy one foundation and it works really well, I usually buy two. The same kind because, like I said, I do self-tan, so my color kind of fluctuates. And then in... This drawer is makeup I'm giving away to family, friends, anybody who wants it. I just kind of pile up the makeup here and I'll give it away to my friends. I have a little benefit bag and then this BB cream from Vicious Formula. Um, but yeah, this is basically everything I kind of give away. In here I have extra palettes, Naked 2, Z palette, Catwalk palette, BH Cosmetics, and then some extra eyeshadow bases from Sigma. And then that's pretty much it. All the drawers are nice and empty, so I have a lot more storage room if I need it. So in here I keep all of my curling irons, extra barrels, any kind of curling iron that I need or have, it's in here. So I love that because it gets them out of the way and you can't really see them much and they're just stored in this nice little thing. And then in this drawer I just have my straighteners in here, teasing combs, hairbrush, extra little clear ties, extra clips, some hair dye, some crappy extensions, hair bows, pretty much anything. And a glove if anybody comes over and wants to use a curling iron but wants to have a glove, I've got that. Bobby pins, pretty much anything. That's what I keep down here. It's kind of miscellaneous. And I have cards down here that people have given me because I never give away cards or anything that people want to send. So that is pretty much it guys. That's my little vanity tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually love the storage now and it makes it look a lot nicer in here and not so cluttered. So I'm loving it. And make sure you like this video. If you have any storage tips then let me know down below. I know I should probably organize this but I'm just too lazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!